Hello guys, so today we will design and 3D print the mechanum wheel, which has the great advantage that it can move sideways and diagonally. So I have designed it and it has 4 main parts, a top part, one bottom part, 8 rollers and a wheel connector. I have given the link of these files in the description. I have 3D printed all the files. These files are printed at 0.2mm layer height and 30% infill. So let's start with its top part. This top part is printed very smooth. And this center circle is a bit rough because we have used support in this. And we have not used support anywhere in the bottom part. So to assemble them, I will use M3 size bolts and nuts. So first insert the 3 nuts in the bottom part. I have designed grooves for it. And then we have to take 3 screws of 30mm length to attach both the parts. After attaching the screws, it will look like this. And while joining the parts, one thing to keep in mind is that these two parts will be joined in only one position. Since our rollers are 8 and the screws are 3, there will be no symmetry. If the rollers were 12, then we have symmetry and we can put parts in any position. But in this case, there is only one position at which both parts will fit. And as soon as we get the position, we have to tighten the screw. And after tightening the screws, our assembly is complete. Now we will assemble the rollers. So all these rollers are 3D printed with 0.2mm layer height. And you can see it is a smooth print and there is no Z seam anywhere. So the length of the rollers is about 37mm. And the spacing of the roller is about 38mm. So there will be a clearance of 0.5mm on both the sides. So these rollers are of plastic material so there is no grip in it. So for the grip I will be using a heat shrink tube. So I will use a 15mm diameter heat shrink tube. So we have to cut it by marking a 38mm length and put it on the rollers. And then take a lighter and heat it so that it will acquire the shape of the roller. So these rollers look great. And it's all made of rubberized material so we'll have a very good grip on it. And you will see some extra part at the outer end. So you have to cut it with thermocol cutter. Now our rollers are ready. For the shafts of the roller, I will use bicycle spokes which you can find at any bike shop. Its diameter is about 3mm and the roller spin is smoothly across this. For assembly, the rollers have to be placed in position and then we have to insert spokes in it. And as soon as it reaches the outer edge, we have to mark it with a permanent marker. And then we have to cut 8 shafts of this length. Now let's start the assembly of our rollers. And during the heating of the tube, don't give too much heat while shrinking or else these rollers will become flat and they will have trouble while spinning. And to assemble the rollers, we have to put them in position and then insert the shafts. At last, push the shaft so that it will fit. And we have to assemble all the rollers like this. The biggest advantage of mechanum wheel is sideward movement and diagonal movement. I'll show you how. So this is my project, it's a full functional mechanical arm robot based on mechanum wheel. It is fitted with a set of 12 rollers with mechanum wheels and it performs sideward movement. So you can watch its full video by clicking on the i button. So I've assembled all the rollers and our mechanum wheel is ready. And all its rollers are spinning quite smoothly. I am going to install this 100 rpm 12 volt DC gear motor. And you can see they cannot be directly connected. That's why I am going to use this connector. It is also 3D printed which will connect our motor to the wheel. I could have designed the wheel in such a way that the motor attaches directly. But when we build complex chassis, it becomes very difficult to assemble the mechanum wheel along with the motor. So I have designed the connector. So the first thing we have to do is insert M3 square nut into the connector. We have to insert it in the top spacing of the connector. 
Now let's use the 8 mm lens screw to connect the connector and the motor. So the first thing to do is to attach the connector and the motor and align the holes of both the parts. And as soon as the holes are aligned, then we have to insert the screw in it and tighten it. And then attach both the parts with the wheel. And use a 10 mm length screw to connect them. Now our complete assembly is ready. And I have already assembled other 3 wheels. And most robots have 4 wheels, having the same set of 2 mechanum wheels. So we can connect these wheels to any chassis, like this. This is the most common robot chassis available. We have to attach these wheels through the holes. But I would not use this frame. I'll show you my next video of this project. It is a full functional mechanum wheel robot with a gimbal camera. It will be controlled wirelessly through the mobile application. So guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any video. And if you have any suggestion then please comment. And you can also watch my other aviation related project. So thank you guys.